Hello and welcome to another part of Let's Play Mad Father. Let's continue where we left off. Only just so if you're curious, I started a slot free because this is my fifth attempt to record. But I didn't get very far like you can see. So last time we got from the... Um, From the safe of our mother's bathroom, we got a lamp and mom's perfume. So right now, I think we'll have to go to the cafeteria, where the hidden door in the floor, in the kitchen. I think it was too dark to be there. Alright, let's just save again. So just so you know where I last left off. Alright, dog still eating. Hope you enjoy your meal. Uh, it's pitch black. Oh, the lamp. I think I do my voice a little bit higher for her because... So, if I do a, a male voice, you can hear the male voice better. <laughs> because if I do my normal voice on her, it sounds like the male voice is too girly. This is what I noticed through the parts I saw myself and yeah. Pile of parrots. Oh, what? A hole in the wall. Mm. I couldn't fit in there. Huh? But maybe Snowball could. Oh. Why? Oh. I don't have a really good feeling about putting Snowball in an unknown hole into an unknown room. But. Wait, wait, what does it say? Storehouse. Let's just hope Snowball comes back to us. Please, Snowball. I believe in you. <gasps> We're going to play Snowball. How cute. Look at Snowball. He's so adorable. I can't get into the menu. Can you open the door? No, you can't. Hmm. Hmm. What's this? I don't know. Oh. Got a lighter oil. Ooh. What the hell is the sound? What the hell is the sound? Ooh, I want to get out. I just heard some moaning or something. And Snowball ran off. Wait. Snowball. Oh no, the lights went out. Oh no. Why won't it work? Please. Oh, please. Oh, oh. Huh? Was someone behind me? Ah, uh, yeah, it was. Just imagining it. <laughs> In this place, you don't imagine stuff, little one. You don't imagine stuff. All right. Let's just wait. Just one more time, I want to see, is there something else we can do, or... Um... Oh... Ew... Why is there blood? Alright, but we don't care. So let's just go. What the hell are you supposed to be? And where's the crow? <laughs> is there something... Oh... Let's just go. <laughs> I won't even ask. But maybe the moaning was from the other guys. Like, hmm. Okay. So, what am I supposed to do now? Oh yeah, I can't go. Let's see. We got lighter. We got oil. We got eight over twenty one gems, and a lamp. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I missed something. I, I bet I missed something. Nothing in the laundry box. Neatly full towel. Let's just click on everything we can see. A towel. Even here? No, nothing. Toilet. 
A vase of flowers. If you don't know what to do in an RPG maker game, just click on everything because there's always secret hidden stuff. So, vase of flowers. Maybe something hidden in here. Hello, crow. Oh! Hello. Uh, maybe the clock. Can I go here? No. Flames burn fiercely. I thought I heard someone. Maybe it's just me. Uh, I don't know. I wanted to click this, but this was a charm. I already write it in the last part. Okay, the thing is... Uh, I don't think... Hmm, I just have an idea. Because I could open this... Oh! Got a cutting knife. Okay. Is there something else? Nope. Okay. So let's save for progress. Hmm. So it works if you just click everything. Hmm. Can I kill you now? No, 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 you kill me first. <laughs> So Aya isn't someone who can fight. So remember that. Oh, crowd, don't scare me, please. Riddle encyclopedia, scattered books, the flame mag, scattered books, hundred memo. Oh yeah, humans are beautiful. Or scattered books. How to read books. Life experiment, lots of hard to read books. Unknown door. So many unknown doors. I wonder if we can ever get them open. A diary. Yeah, the diary is also very suspicious. I just want to know whose the diary it is. But she doesn't she doesn't comment on it anyhow. Exactly like on the um on this handwritten memo she doesn't comment it either. Hmm. Let's just continue searching though. It's a changing room. Nothing. Oh! What the hell was that? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this scared me for reals. I think it was us. But we were kind of bloody. We were completely bloody. This was weird. This was really weird. The mess of his shoes. Hmm. Let's see it with tape. Can I do this? Of course we can. Oh, got an empty lighter. Don't I have lighter oil? Yes. Fill the lighter with oil. Of course we want to fill it with oil. Got a lighter. So many secrets and... <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh, maybe even now there is something here. I don't really want to know, you know what? Oh, please don't do this. Exactly, this is so... No, it's back. Oh. Sometimes the game is just really mean to you and you can't handle this. Oh yeah, third slot, don't forget it. 
<laughs> I just got really irritated <laughs> and scared. It just really surprised me, that's all. I didn't expect it to fall over. I was uh, just about to say the things uh, this game has so many surprises, and then you suddenly go forward and this thing fell over. Remember that we didn't go here very often, so maybe now we can do anything here. I can still see you, Gem, up there, but the letter is missing a piece. And I don't like this flickering any. <laughs> I never liked it, and I will not like it in the future, so. Let's just continue. Is there anything else in our room? Oh, snowball! What you doing here? Snow was relaxing. Okay, so you don't want to come anymore. Just want to sit on your fluffy bed. Red eyed stranger. Or it's a traitor. Mommy? No. Oh. A beloved doll. Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah. I remember what was there. A box full of memories. Okay, let's continue. We have what? Oil and lighter. Lamp jam. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh god. What the hell is this? <laughs> Full of surprises. I can actually read this. And it says uh, your father your father murderer. So I'm actually I'm I'm the player are aware of it my that the father is a murderer, of course. But I just thinking about it now. I don't think Aya really understand the fact that her father is not like okay he murders people like he k not no he kills people but it's not really murder it's only something like to make it's just something he does like it's completely natural like some people are cooking some people are um uh some people are making sports and some people are killing others for experiments, so I don't think she understands that. I mean, what I saw so far is that the only one she really knows is her father, mother, and this Ma and Maria, the assistant, and her snowball pet. But she doesn't seem to have any friends, and and she's almost eleven, I think. So this is kind of weird. It makes you think about it. Hmm. Yeah, we have still this pack of monsters. Hello. This is so gross. <laughs> I can't get through here. What should I do? Oh. It's like in the flame egg. Burn all those in my way. Huh? Yeah, I can burn it. But how? Use the oil and lighter? Oh, this is brutal. But if there's no way... <laughs> It burns, it burns, it hurts. Help me. Uh, no, I feel kind of bad for this pack of monsters. <laughs> Hello, birdie. Hmm. Let's go back. Yeah, they're gone. But I don't feel good about what we did. <laughs> it's kind of brutal. Aren't I here, Birdie, again? Sturdy wood boards. Hmm. So many boxes. I want to know what's inside of them. Laboratory or... What? Taxidermy room. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the laboratory first. What are you? Oh, got a wood box. Good. Wood box and lamp. Lamp of all sorts of strangeness. All sorts of strangeness. <sighs> Let's 
Stanchos for experiments. Stanchos for <laughs> okay. Stanchos for experiments. It's unknown things. I can't say it's unknown things. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I can't see him anywhere. Oh damn, I saved over this. Oh well. So for first maybe this? No. Let's see. Maybe this door? Ah! Oh god. No, no. Oh shit. <laughs> oh damn. Well that's cool. Game over, bad end or continue. What is bad end? Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> and the game ends. Thank you for watching, and we see each other in the next let's play. <laughs> nah, let's continue. I think we end. Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't a front door. It's some kind of guy of green hair and he, he has bandages all over his body like okay now I think I know where we have to go <laughs> at this point okay yeah I knew that there was two two rooms who were who we didn't know what they are and this is the ones in the archives and this one with the barrels. So let's see. Um. Oh. I think he was trying to say something. I think so too. Use the room key. Oh. Oh, it's second floor Maria's room. Oh, she only lives in this kind of... This is a really sh shabby room. Shabby. He could go... If he really... If her father really likes her, he could get her in a better room without spider webs in the corners. <laughs> and maybe a little more furniture. I mean, look how many things we have. I don't think we're we are so poor, so... It's only my opinion. I found a diary. Maybe it's a continuation about the about the diary in the archives. Could this be Maria's diary? Which diary? Of course. I'm I'm curious. Okay, this is her probably because only she says to the father doctor. <coughs> Doctor, it has been a year to the day since I came to this mansion. I will never forget that day. Oh, please. I think this is her. Oh, so she was... Yeah, I think the mama mentioned she was living... She was coming from the street, but I didn't thought she was this bad <laughs> on the street please food Aww. food I don't know in which year this actually play take place the game but I think it was it was some some decades ago because I don't think any person is walking around like in this kind of dress and uniforms anymore like Aya and the mother and Maria does and I don't think anyone would ever allow this kind of experiments what the father did but don't ask me maybe it actually takes place in our time only I don't <laughs> I didn't notice but I think it takes place some decades ago like maybe in the 60s or the 70s like actually um, some time, the time after the second war, I think maybe this is the time where this game takes place because in, these are very rough times and the police were, weren't really active through, uh, during this time and this is when like really crime organizations start to get really and <laughs> crime organizations start to get really into business in the world and the people were really 
poor and couldn't afford food and it was a real bad time so yeah I think this is this is the time where it actually takes place but I don't know because I didn't saw any year in the whole game and I didn't saw any in the description of the game either so let's just continue somebody food somebody I recognize the glasses and I'm pretty sure it's the father. Yeah, of course. A bum. A bum. She could be a fine subject with some work. Of course he already thinks about experiments. It's pitiful to see one so skinny. Come to my home, please. I'll give you clothes and delicious meals. You bastard. This is if 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 he does that to every person he sees on the street, only to lure him in the house for his experiments. He is a sick twisted bastard. I can already say that. Oh yeah, and already in jail. Stay here for a while. I'll tell my family about you. Oh, she looks so much younger. Family? I have a wife and a girl turning seven. So it took place almost four years ago. Alright. I'm sure we would welcome you. Family. This is the guy in the bed. Only noticed him now. Is this person like me? Ooh, oh. What awful injuries. It must hurt. Perhaps I could do something. Hmm. Oh, oh. Just gonna. Oh, what? My skirt won't be enough cloth. But the only other cloth I have is. Oh. She used her own cloths to bandage, to treat her. This is so sweet. I'm surprised. He was about to die, but he recovered overnight. It seems he was given excellent treatment. Did you treat him? Yes. How handy. You're exceptionally talented. Please, I... I couldn't let this go to waste. What's your name? Huh? Uh, uh, I'm... I'm... Maria. Maria? Hmm? An appropriate name. Maria? Would you be my assistant? Oh? I do not wish to lose you. Please. Stay with me. <sighs> well, will you entrust me with the rest of your life? Yes. <sighs> I was... I was so happy. So happy you had saved me. I was alone. But you made me need it. You gave me a laugh. As long as I'm needed, I will stay with you. How would I live without you? I love you, Doctor. I see. So Maria have a good heart in her. This is good.
I didn't know that. <laughs> hmm. I never really knew anything about Maria, after all. Maria must really love father too. <coughs> I do think so too. Can we actually read it again? Oh. See, they don't give any year, so I can't really tell in which year it takes place, but I think um it's uh it's after the Second World War in this time, like in the fifties or the sixties maybe. Sorry X Yesterday I encountered a young boy. He was very lo he was very <laughs> lovely. Lonely, I thought it was lonely. Uh he was very lovely. Even more so than the mistress. But the moment he saw me, he ran off crying. Is my face indeed so frightening? The mistress always seems scared of me as well. I suppose it's the eyes. Well, I'm sure it's that the mistress dislikes me. It cannot be helped. I did take away the doctor. Surely I could not replace her mother. Oh, man. So we learned a lot about Maria today. I don't know in which way this will affect the story actually, but I'm glad we did that. So we learned a little bit more about other people. Like Maria. We did l learn about the mother a little bit, like she died from illness and she found out about her affair. We did learn about the father much more or less because of Aya and Aya herself, but we didn't learn very much about her, but now I'm glad that we learned something. And she's still fainted. I hope she will be alright. But let's just continue. Oh, there he is! And some creepy, naked, bold people. <laughs> Father! Ah, wrong voice. Father! Oh... What? Why are you here? <coughs> M Mom? Is that you? Wait! No way. Was that really Mom? There's no way I mistook her. It was Mom. I was even Mom. It must be the curse, right? Haven't you noticed? Oh. This this tragedy was brought about by a curse. But about by the power of a woman's curse. The malice for your father. That malice turned into a curse. Seeking out your father's death. Could that woman be? So you do realize, yes, your mother. It can be. Why do you think that? Because mom loved father. Mom even understood father's work. And father loved mom in return. Was mom happy? I couldn't believe she has a grudge against father. But maybe mom didn't like father and Maria. This is a possibility. I don't want it to be true, but... So you go find the truth. Yeah. Mortuary. <laughs> I don't want to be here now. What is that? Go to gym. Was he moving no longer. What the hell, man? Sleeping. Pa what? So it's someone. He like start moving. Seems like a husk. Hmm. Creepy, but almost beautiful. What? Sometimes I don't get your thoughts, Aya. Creepy, but almost beautiful. This is weird. Like, really weird. She's still fainted. Poor little Maria. 
Wait, how many gems do we actually already got? Ooh, we're almost halfway through. Eh. Bloody sacks are in my way. And the person is still back to normal. Alright. The hell are you supposed to be? Oh jeez. Yeah. I don't know, but I can't click on any of his corpses. Maybe his body is in a different room. Hmm. Not brave enough to look inside. I wouldn't be brave enough to look inside something like this either, so it's okay, Aya. Stings. Oh, this is so gross. And you still wear his body, okay. Oh, where is your body? Oh. Stay away. Oh, can it kill me? Here's your body. Here's your body? Ah, here's it. Oh, I want that. <laughs> Just put it on your head. Oh, Thanks, missus. Oh, it's okay. Oh, thank you. Got a team. Alright, let's move on. I think... Oh, this is weird. Stack of wood crates. Stack of wood crates. Filled with junk. What is this way? Huh? A big barrel. A big barrel. Oh. Hmm. Just checking everything. Oh, unlock the door. Ah, I see. This is clever. Alright, let's move on. Now we have a hidden passage so we can save at any time if we have to. This is cool. Do you see this girl on my left? And she vanished. A dilapid... A dilapid... A dilapidated shelf? I don't know what that means. And I don't know what that means either. Hmm. Go to gym. Hmm. There's big barrels, so I don't actually know what to do here. Go the ladder. Oh. Why do we need a ladder again? The attic. Yeah, it was the attic. So let's take the hidden passage and go straight to the attic. Ah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> ah. Not again. They can actually follow me. Just checking on Snowball. So relaxing this. What? Wait, what was that? Oh, this is my teddy. Okay, <laughs> teddy scared me for a moment in the corner. Didn't recognize it from the darkness. In the darkness. Okay, letter is missing a section, so let's put it there. Hello. Oh, I 
got you, Jim. How many do I have already? Yes. Oh my god, I ju just got 12 from 9 to 12. This is nice. I got a big barrel. A mini chainsaw? What? Oh, what? For a special kit or equip chainsaw, it can normally only be equipped in the basement. When equipped, press the confirm key to make Aya swing with chainsaw down. <laughs> can be destroyed this way. It cannot be used to attack enemies. Damn it. Why not? <laughs> be aware that you can't open the menu or check objects with a chainsaw out. Okay, let's remember this. Special key, C or shift, confirm key, C or center or space. Okay. Ooh. Ah, how nostalgic. What? <laughs> I remember Father scolding me for playing with this once. What the hell? Oh, jeez. Aya, what are you doing? Swing that thing around. Sorry. This is no toy. It's a very dangerous tool. Understood? Never play with anything like this again. S sorry father. Aw, I'm glad you're not hurt. It is odd though. I thought this would be somewhere that was out of your reach. Ah, where on earth did you find this Aya? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, father. Uh, <laughs> A moment when you sigh. Oh. I think I have to end a part right now. But that's cool, we have a chainsaw. Wait a second. Uh, how do you... How do you equip it again? Uh, Wait. I don't know how you equip it. God damn it. I have to check it later. Alright. So I will end the part here. I hope you enjoyed it. We learned pretty much. We got good progress and I'm very glad about it. It isn't so hard like I thought it would be, but if you check everything double and even if some things are really if you don't notice some things, like if some objects are so, like, this crow or something like this, just check every object if you can't make any progress, which is what, this is what I did, and in the end you make progress, so yeah. My little hint for the future, for myself and for you, if you play games like this. And like always, thank you very much for watching and we see each other in the next part of Mad Father. Until then, see ya!